So what if you want the charm of an old neighborhood, but a house with a very modern design? Well, in the $400,000 price range, this Denver duplex offers one answer. Roger Bailey built the place three years ago, and it wasn't his first attempt to bring mod to a mature area. I moved into this neighborhood like 12, 13 years ago, and this is actually my third living space within a block. The Platte Park neighborhood is a quiet residential district in South Denver. Roger lives right near the area's namesake park, but it's the quaint commercial district two blocks away that attracts so many visitors. I would say it's a very eclectic neighborhood. The people who live here, you know, anything from professionals who are working downtown, families, people who have been here for 30, 40 years, it really ranges quite a bit. Roger built this duplex back in 2001. At the time, his side cost about $275,000 to build. Now valued around $450,000, it may seem like a lot for half a house, but this is no ordinary duplex. Most duplexes in the neighborhood are side to side, so you have one side that gets all the southern exposure and one that gets all the north. And when we designed these, we actually put one entirely on the front and the other one entirely on the back. and It allows for wider living spaces on the interior and also the light. Roger owns the back half of the duplex, and it's valued just a bit less than the front portion. But he's just glad to have all the light the arrangement offers. I have to have light and natural light. So basically I flooded the, the south side of the house with windows and did skylights upstairs. And then I have virtually no windows on the north side of the house. Being in the back also offers more usable outdoor space. Roger created privacy by defining a room with bamboo plants and a cedar fence. Wanted another living area, you know, to where I could open up the doors and have the same, like a flow, but yet at the same time it's additional seating and just like another room. With all of Denver's sunshine, a nice patio isn't just for show. In Denver, the weather is so nice all year round that people really tend to live outside on their decks and their patios. That's a big draw for houses. Um, and I think it really increases the value quite a bit. Because this was new construction rather than a remodel, Roger could add all the modern features he wanted. The onyx floor and luxury fixtures in the master bath add real value. It has the open shower at the tub next to it, and the tub sits underneath the skylight, so at night I can sit there and watch, you know, a full moon. Even the powder room on the first floor had a little design curve thrown in. This serves as a door to the powder room, and this is a door into a uh, coat closet. It's actually a really small powder room. It's almost like an airline restroom. The curve gives it just enough that you don't feel like you're about to take off. Roger is a designer by profession, so the main living area functions as a palette for his ideas. Maple floors and white walls showcase his furniture and artwork. Here an open floor plan keeps the creativity flowing. Probably more so than anything else, I just want a living area instead of like a living room and a dining room. Efficiency matters in a home's value, especially when the same amount of money could buy twice the house in the suburbs. Probably get less for your money here than I would if I was further out of town. I'm not exactly sure why that is, except that just, I think it's the location. So, what do you get in the $400,000 price range in Denver? In this older neighborhood, it buys a modern two-bedroom duplex with 1,700 square feet of living space on three levels. Not tons of room for the price, but that's a factor for everyone. I don't need any more space, so no, I don't really think about that. <laughs> in a mature Denver neighborhood, $450,000 combines a forward-looking duplex with a community that appreciates the past.